It doesn't actually have to be there. I just thought it'd be funny. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Have a Pint. Today, we have Night Owl Pumpkin Ale from Elysian Brewing Company. It is a pumpkin slash yam beer. 5.9% alcohol by volume. It does not list the IBUs on Untapped. It gets an average rating of 3.85. No, I want to try. And the description on Untapped reads, Night Owl Pumpkin Ale, our original pumpkin ale. Night Owl is brewed with over 7 pounds of pumpkin beer barrel. What did I read Kitty that? screwed up. What, what, over 7, seven pumpkin pounds? beer. Oh, of pumpkin per. Okay, well, you know, All right, we'll I do this tried. Again. We'll do this again. <laughs> And the description on tap reads, Our original pumpkin ale, Night Owl, is brewed with over 7 pounds of pumpkin per barrel, includes 7 different malt varieties, green and roasted pumpkin seeds, and pumpkin in the mash, boil, and fermenter, bitter with magnum hops, am I saying that right? Yep. And spiced and conditioning with nutmeg, clove, cinnamon, ginger, and allspice. 5.9% ABV. I don't know why that part is in the description when it actually has a section for that. Anyways, we have a few new arrivals for this episode. There's an art. Where my finger? There's an art. Is he new? He's where oh he's not God. supposed to be. <laughs> he's on the counter. <laughs> Artemis, are you supposed to be there? He knows he's not supposed to be because if he knows that we see him there, he moves. He bolts. I don't know where one of our other arrivals went. Anyways, we also have, from Scooters, a pumpkin pie smoothie. Technically, it's a pumpkin <clears throat> pie blender. Pumpkin pie blender. It, it's, a, it's a machine used to blend, apparently. We have, from Walmart, very exquisite. What is it? It's not pumpkin pie. Uh, um, or pumpkin bed. Pumpkin... Cream cake. Com pumpkin Com cream what? cake or something like pumpkin that. Pumpkin cream bread. Something like that. And we also have... Britney Spears. A human. What's the human's name? It said Britney Spears. It's Britney Spears. Otherwise known as Chris. No. Britney Spears. <laughs> she Famous will be... Famous 90s pop star. She will be reviewing this... And I will be reviewing this. I like the uh, artwork on this. It's, it's, it's not, there's not a whole lot to the artwork, but it's a nice little picture. And I got another pint glass, because I don't really think you need much more than that for what this is. This thing has a fair amount of head on it. I'm not going to get it all in there. So, we have around two and a half fingers worth of head on here. It is medium in color, a lot of bubbles, you know, kind of see through it. Uh, yeah. Tightly laced head. We had like three inches of whipped cream on here, you know, <laughs> metal straw. Metal straw. Plastic cup. And she's already, uh, gone into her bump cake here. Shut up. But yeah, if you can see bubbles, probably not. I need a I need to get a light under here so you can see it better. Mm. But uh let me try mm. Oh yeah you can kinda see it. Problem solving skills. You do it like right on the sides and stuff. There you go. And this head is not dissipating very fast, so I think we're gonna have to fight through a head on this one. What? What does that even mean? This is the head. We'll have what? to fight through it to get to the liquid. So it's like a milk mustache. This is very good. It T like she said earlier, it smelled like just like pumpkin bread, and it tastes kind of that way too. <laughs> you just gonna stare at me while you eat? Oh, this is staying in the video. Boop. Uh, 
Words. She's just gonna eat. That's all I do. Yeah, you go a week without eating sometimes. Yeah. All right, we're down to about a finger and a half of head. Okay. The nose on this is not huge. Definitely get that pumpkin out of it. Cinnamon, nutmeg, clove a little bit. Do you even know what clove smells like? Yeah. But I don't, I don't really get the ginger. All right. See what it has on the taste. It's a lot of pumpkin. Can I smell it? it smells gross. She's not allowed to drink. She does not like drink drinking. She she doesn't like drinking in general. Why don't you pour the little bit left into there? Uh, now that it's like caught up? Is that not a thing to do? I think the pumpkin kicks in right on the front of the palate. Pumpkin's right at the front. I get the allspice. I think that's all it is, is those kick in on the front of the palate and they're there the rest of the way. <clears throat> Do you keep this all in when you're just taking multiple sips over and over again? Studying it, yeah. I mean... Usually, uh, the, the, like the front of the palate, the middle of the palate, and on the finish, it'll, there'll be different things. Sometimes something's all the way through, but some things will kick in and out. But I'm not really getting that. Those two kicking at the beginning, and that's about it. It's really good, but that's kind of disappointing that that's it. It might be because you're adding other pumpkin things, though, too. Could be. I'll probably have another one before I upload it. So if it's different, then I'll say so in the description. I can hear you swallowing. It's on the videos too. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Oh, there's, a, there's some cinnamon there somewhere. I might be on the front of the palette too. It's very subtle. Just everything's up front. Is that good or bad? Uh, it's not necessarily good or bad. But it's kind of interesting when it changes throughout. I mean, it's never going to be, like, way different throughout, you know? But, like, the, uh... Dogfish one, you know, it had the pumpkin start on the beginning, and there was the allspice at the beginning. Then the allspice kind of disappeared, and in the middle there was brown sugar. Is there a different perspective describing this shit to someone who's never drank? Probably. Because nothing else really changes flavor throughout the palate, does it? Not that I've noticed. Chocolate? Chocolate drinks. No, I'm talking about like just. <coughs> we both learned at the same time. No, but like chocolate, like food chocolate. When you get a higher quality chocolate. Yeah, yeah like I there's can... an aftertaste to it. I mean, there's some yeah. foods that like taste really good up front. Oh, like boba. 
Boba too has like a, it has like that beginning like kind of just gelatinous and then the more it sits in your mouth and like when you chew yeah. it and stuff it gets more potent. Or um, pomegranates. So bitch. She's a super taster. Yeah. I don't know. I enjoy it, but I'm kind of disappointed that like there's no real fluctuation in the palate. It's just all there at the beginning, and then it just kind of rides. Better than not liking the aftertaste. Yeah. That's only certain times I, I knew this wouldn't be something I disliked. It was probably the least my least favorite I've tried. I've also tried this because we had this uh, a few days ago. It was delicious. My hands are she, cold. She's warming her hands. <laughs> but yeah, I mentioned before she has a channel. I'm not going to mention what the name of it is, but if she wants to, she can. If you want to see me uh, cry, like just randomly on camera. You didn't mention the name though if you want to. Uh, what is it, like, Little Dead Dolly or some shit like that? I don't even fucking know. <laughs> something like that. Uh, that's either the Dead Doll, Little Dead Dolly, something along those lines. She has, like, six videos. I'm way ahead of her on uh, videos, but... Uh, I've had my channel longer. But she's got videos with way more views. It, overall, I have more views because I have, like, 30 videos. I mean, I talk about having depression, eating disorder. That's what her channel is. Mostly having an eating disorder. Because that's what consumes me. Crying camera randomly. Show off my self-harm scars once. She did. Well, the only other thing I have to talk about in this video, it's a very good transition, what she had. Uh, college football. It's, it can't be very long because she's just going to make fun of me the whole time. Uh, so LSU is a lot better than everybody thought. They What did they start preseason? 25th and dominated both their games so far. And they played some good opponent, uh, a good opponent last week. Who did they play last week? I don't remember, but they dominated them. And then Washington is not what people expected. Well, they're at halftime right now, up 24 nothing this week. Yeah, they beat Miami 33-17 uh, to last week. Did that come out of your mouth? Uh, I thought it was maybe one of the cats. Washington and both both Washington and UCLA, I f feel like, have been kind of disappointing this year. UCLA was supposed to be a lot better with Chip Kelly. The Chip Kelly area started, era has started 0-2. Why do you keep going like this every time? Like, is that a requ requirement to be like, hmm? Wait. Wait, we never... It, it, I don't think it's a thing with beer, but is it? Is that a thing with beer? Yeah. It, okay. Cheers, Prost. Okay. Which I always say Prost 10 in my videos, and in one video I noticed I said cheers when I went editing it. Today, Washington didn't have an issue, though, but it was North Dakota. Not North Dakota State, but North Dakota. But they're struggling more than people thought. Uh, Nebraska finally got to play and lost we may have lost but we got our first game jitters out against a good team and we if still almost lost. and we still almost beat them lost. if we hadn't given them, given them a 14 point <laughs> handicap uh, two turnovers in the first uh, 
three minutes killed it. Lulu, are you supposed to be on the table? But we still came back and got the lead and held it for most of the game. If we would have played Akron last week, I feel like Nebraska would have uh, won by two or three scores. And Oklahoma. I mean, we knew Oklahoma was going to be good, but. <laughs> what? I probably can't see her against my black shirt, but. <laughs> but yeah, the UCLA, they were, they weren't, I don't think they were supposed to win by more than what? Two touchdowns and. That was about a four touchdown spread. Uh, who else was I going to mention? Iowa. Why would you mention them? Because just like every year, the only thing that ever saves Iowa is defense. No offense, Iowa fans. But you guys always have a hell of a defense. No Never, off never no really offense. any offense. No offense. Iowa yeah. offense. Yeah. You never really have an <laughs> offense. No offense. You could. You should have just left it with that. No offense, uh, uh, Iowa fans. Been much more fun. Last time you guys had an offense was when you had uh, what was his name like in twenty twelve where you guys went undefeated in the regular season. Granted, you got blown out for the Big Twelve championship and blown out for the Rose Bowl, but. Huh. It would have been a lot more funny. But you didn't even realize what you said, so. Uh. I think starting next, after next week's set of games, I might start giving what I feel like is our, or what is a top, uh, top 25 because you know they always fuck that up I think we'll end up there Nebraska but I think it would be after the bowl game because I do think we lose to Wisconsin I do think we lose to Ohio State but I'm hoping we can keep those close I do think we lose to Michigan but again I hope it's close you okay no, I'm cold <laughs> and I I think Michigan State still has us this year, but I don't think anybody else does. Did you bring that? Yes. I think everybody else we can beat. And if we would have played against Akron, I think we'd have beaten Colorado. I think it was only a loss because it was our first game and we had to figure out our first game kinks. As you know, every... Every team's worst game is always the first game. You make the most improvement from the first game to the second. I don't know. Chiefs started off really good this year. Unless, well, that's <laughs> NFL. I know. But I'm just Unless saying. you have poor coaching, then you can have a your worst game later in the year. But if you so have like a good most coach, Nebraska game. most Nebraska anything. The thing is, we got. We got. We saw something today, though, that we haven't seen since the beginning of uh, Bo Pelini when he had Callahan's recruits still. And that's been almost ten years. It it hasn't looked that good in eight years. Shut the fuck up, bitch. You know we got. We got we got socked in the mouth early. Went down fourteen nothing in the first five minutes. And it still went down to the very last play of the game. If that would have happened under Mike Riley and most plenty years, that would have ended up being a Colorado win of like four or five touchdowns. But anyways, not much left. So what do you got for this? Would you get this again? Yeah. I mean, I'm a basic white bitch, so. Out of a five rating, but so like you could rate it four, four point two five, four point five, four point seven five, five, or you know any of that 
lower than four. What would you rate this? Like, are we talking about for like mass produced coffee? Uh, not coffee drinks, but like pumpkin coffee, pumpkin spice drinks. Or are we talking for, about like for, general? So what what for pumpkin pie uh, smoothies? Well, if it's just a pumpkin pie smoothie, then I think this is the only one. So ten out of ten, or five out of five. They used to have like pumpkin chunks though. In See, it. it doesn't work as well as with beer. Like mm-hmm. I can say for a pumpkin beer. Well, oh, but it but, could be a pumpkin smoothie. But you said pumpkin pie smoothie. They fine, used, pumpkin they smoothie. They used to have like little things, like that had little chunks of it, like it was like crust. And that was when it was a lot better. Dogfish Head puts actual pumpkin meat in there. Well, no, it wasn't the process. meat. It was like crust. Well, I, know. I know. It was really good. And but they that, that was like doing things like that and putting the crust in this make them better. Yeah, so compared to, like, what it used to be, I guess I'd give it, like, a 3.2. 3.25. But, like, ignoring what it used to be. No, 3.2, better. Um, Can't. It's 3, 3.25, 3.5, 3.7. It is still mathematically, yeah, mathematically possible to have a 3.2. Thank you, Mike. Uh, yeah, but we're going by what Untapped does. And, yes, you can have, like, 3.85, but you couldn't go in there and rate it that. The closest you could do was 3.75. Or a, th- a four. Okay, well, they're mathematically incorrect. So she's wrong. 3.2. She's going with 3.25 on this. 3.2. Um, <laughs> but, like, if I'm not considering that, I mean, it's a solid four. Now, if I was going to go to, like, a, like especially cafe and shit, like, I'm going to expect more. And I'm also going to oh, be yeah. more picky, though. For, like, being a mass-produced but drink. if, say... If, say, they had a pumpkin smoothie uh, at a specialty place, and you compare it to this, well, that's what, I'm what saying. would you still say that? What would you well, say I was going to say, is? like, I would be much more critical of the, cra- uh, of the, like, the little guy. At- I mean, like, compared to Dogfish Head, this is a little guy. Elysian Brewing. But... I would still say the more mass-produced dogfish head, vastly better. I mean, I never had a small town pumpkin. Well, I mean, it's oh, not. Where is this from? I, I, I can't. Hey, but cafes are more. It, it is different. Than... It's harder to do. And this isn't exactly goofy. Oh, this is out of Seattle, Washington. They get a lot of shit in Seattle that I'd love to try but you you'd have to spend like three years there to try everything kind of like colorado all right so we've gotten if she would get that again what her rating is 3.2 3.25 3. 3.2 uh i need I wonder if they have, like, because you can bring in your own, like, container mm-hmm. for, like, coffee. I wonder if you can bring out your own container for, like, this. Because I don't like using the plastic, like, ones. She doesn't. She likes to be eco-friendly, which is good. I enjoy it. Get your metal straws, bitch. <laughs> uh, so, would I buy this again? No. I wouldn't buy this again. It's not bad. The problem is, it's fine, but this this four pack was eleven forty nine, and there's pumpkin beers out there for eight ninety nine for a six pack, and I would rather go with that because this you know this was fine, but it wasn't anything special, and like Dogfish Heads yes was thirteen ninety nine. But it was worth that thirteen ninety nine because there was a lot of flavor to it. There was a lot of pumpkin. There was a lot of other flavors. There was the uh, brown sugar, the allspice. You got all of that stuff out of it. It went, you know, it didn't have the list here, and you, you know, you get one or two things out of it. It I'm had. Take a piss. <laughs> you you got all that out of it, and it had a lot of flavor to it. Not that this is bad, but I I wouldn't get it again. Uh, what would I rate this? I'd, I'd say a 3.5. 3.49. 3. Uh, 
Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go with 3.5 on it. That's... I, I can't justify more. It's not bad. If you like pumpkin, obvious, uh, pumpkin beers, obviously you need to pick it up, you need to try it. But... I wouldn't say go out of your way, like... I would with Dogfish Head, even if you don't really care for it. Not if you hate it, because... But then again, you either love or you hate them. That's what I've noticed in the beer communities. You either love pumpkin beers or you don't go near them. But if you happen to be in that neutral zone, I would I would recommend the Dogfish. I would not recommend this one. Uh, I have... I have like 10, 12 different ones still in the fridge to review. But... For pumpkin, I have two from Wasash. I have Nebraska Brewing. Still to do, and I have New Belgium. But it's hard for me to call that New Belgium one a pumpkin. We've gotten into that before. But, anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. I'm out of beer. But she's not out of smoothies, so I'm thinking about Frost.